what is the Florida donor table and local partners doing to demonstrate the resistance to define DeSantis and to create that national narrative that can help to influence general election voters, particularly those who might be in presidential swing states? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, uh, I appreciate the question, uh, Sarah, and just a special thank you to uh, Movement Voter Project. Uh, I'm going to tell some hard truths today, um, but one of the things that I want to uh, lift up and appreciate is the strategic funders and aggregate funders who, despite a rough cycle last cycle, um, stayed with Florida. Uh, and much of what we're talking about today, um, while we did not raise, uh, while we did not raise the resources that I think we need to raise in order to be competitive, um, MVP was there with us every step of the way. And I want to send an appreciation to MVP, the staff, uh, and their funders. For those who don't know, um, I'll be quick with it, but uh, the Florida Alliance is our state donor table. Uh, it's an organism organization of institutional and individual donors who come together, much like MVP, and strategically, strategically fund. And so, Sarah, to your question, what are we doing? I think, number one, it's my obligation as Florida's donor uh, table director to set the record straight about what is actually happening in Florida. Um, I think that there is a narrative that has been going around to some extent, understandably so, for the past 20 or 25 years, and folks have not taken a fresh look at Florida. And uh, ultimately, uh, similar to what Andre was saying or Josh was saying, um, his rise has not been organic. Um, he is a product of the right, but he's also a product of the left's disinvestment and divestment strategy. Um, you don't go from winning by 30,000 votes to, um, sorry, my lamp almost fell. You don't go from winning by 30,000 votes to 1.8 million votes uh, by accident, right? There has to be a disinvestment strategy that's a part of that. And so um, setting the record straight about that, I think additionally, um, making sure that folks know he's worse than what you think. Uh, I've heard in circles and funder communities that maybe uh, Donald Trump would be a better president. Um, uh, Ron DeSantis is a white Christian nationalist. Um, and undergirding all of his policies is that overarching theory of change. Um, and it's not the change that we want to see, but that is who he is, and that is what he will turn the federal government into. That is what he has turned uh, the Florida state government into. I also think we have to set the record state that it's not just about preventing DeSantis from becoming president. Um, yeah, that should be 1A. Um, but if he loses, he'll still be 44 years old, and he'll still have the biggest war chest of any governor in American history. Um, he is not going away. And so not only do we want to prevent him from being president of the United States, but we want to prevent DeSantism. We want to prevent the rise of folks like DeSantis. And we want them to know that we may tolerate um, some things, but we will not tolerate what Ron DeSantis is doing. And most importantly, he's hurting us. Um, the progressive community, the progressive funding community um, uh, centers ourselves on protecting those who uh, are vulnerable, who are under attack. Uh, and Ron DeSantis is deliberately inflict inflicting pain on Florida's most unprotected communities. And I think he's made the bet that the Calvary isn't coming. Uh, and what we've tried to do at the Florida Alliance with the dollars that we've had is let them know that, that, that that's not the case. Um, and so that, that's number one is setting the record straight in the funding community about what has happened in Florida, um, how Ron DeSantis will actually be as president and make sure that folks aren't taking him lightly. This is a man who folks said that couldn't win the primary, he won the primary. This is a man who was up four points, who Ron, um, uh, Andrew Gillum was up four points on, uh, he won uh, the, the, the governor's race. And this is a person who went from 30,000 vote, uh, a vote margin to 1.8 uh, vote margin. He is not to be trifled with. Uh, he is everything and more than what people think about him. And then uh, to pivot to inspiration. And the truth about it is, um, as a funder, our responsibility is sort of threefold. One, to create funding alignment, um, to not uh, uh, pit organizations against each other, that when organizations are working together, we fund them and we get out the way, that we create spaces um, to, to, to aid uh, and to make sure that our organi organizers are resourced. The second piece, to be nimble. Um, this is a rapid, rapid uh, response program. Um, this is not something that we can sit on for three months and come back to. Uh, every single day he is harming communities and every single day our organizers are on the ground in digital spaces and in communities, they need resources. And we're not always talking about a million dollars here or there, but you know, the freedom rides didn't happen by themselves. Somebody had to pay for the gas. Uh, the sit-ins, uh, somebody had to pay for the bail, and we got to create a more nimble funding community at the donor table. Um, over the course of the last four years, the Florida Alliance has invested $36 million into Florida organizing and infrastructure. 
we have to do more. And we have to invest in our talent and infrastructure as well. Um, the folks that you see on the phone, the Quality Florida, Florida Rising, and the Communications Research Hub are direct grantees of the Alliance, and we need to do more. And we need to organize more money to get them more resources so that they can get to scale. There's a misnomer that this defining DeSantis project is new. This is their lives. Uh, we're not going anywhere. There is no choice. Um, the folks that you see on this phone, um, the folks that you uh, are funding, uh, they are directly impacted by the terrible things that Ron DeSantis is doing and he wants to do. And so our, our obligation as a funder uh, is to create alignment um, to get out the way. The last thing I want to say is his dip in polls isn't organic either. Um, much of what you see, much of his vulnerabilities isn't just coming from the right. Um, what this resistance, uh, when it has resources, has shown is that Floridians, despite the fact that he may have won by more, uh, uh, that he may have won uh, by many more votes this election, we're not satisfied. And, and ultimately, the state is not satisfied with his leadership, uh, and we're going to resist. And so um, our job is to fund, it's to get out the way. Um, we are trying everything we can do to raise in the state to attract national resources. And I want to once again thank MVP for creating these spaces for Florida and for our organizers to highlight them.